Okay, so let me put <clears throat> Okay, so this is um some of my notes. It's inspired by by this video. And this video is about esoteric um, teaching. <laughs> it's about how to, um, it's about esoteric stuff, but it's, this is something I've been thinking about. Uh, faith as a means to attain knowledge. Uh, in the Bible, it talks about faith, but why? Uh, I think this video here explains this concept or sort of touches on it. Um, and I go, I don't think it's possible. So this is talking about the higher realms, how to obtain knowledge of the higher realms as opposed to just materialism, you know. I don't think it's possible to attain knowledge of the spiritual realm without faith. So what is faith? Faith is sincerity of belief. Okay, so uh, you should read the, you should watch the video, it explains it better. <laughs> so when I talk about faith, I'm not talking about believing in a particular God or uh, or an object, you know, it's not, it's more about the attitude, the attitude you need to have. Um, so, uh, I don't know if faith is the right way, but I'm going to go with it. So, cynicism is the opposite of faith. Cynicism creates a prison, an egoistic prison. It may also be one of the ways the dark side wants to keep you a prisoner trapped in this materialistic world. But faith, which is sincerity of belief, humility, veneration, respect. The veneration comes up in this video a lot. Respect. And this is devotion. This is something I've been thinking about is a means to pierce the veil, as it were. Uh, there is more to hear than merely religious dogma. So I'm, when I use the word faith, I'm, I'm talking about like, look at the world we live in. People don't trust the government. They don't trust the media. Uh, so, so sources of knowledge, authority, you know, we used to think would give us uh, information about the world. If we don't trust them, how do we obtain information, you know? So faith, sincerity of belief, wanting to believe, uh, is a means of obtaining knowledge of the spiritual realm, the whole of reality, and not just one materialistic aspect of it. The ancients <laughs> had a lot to teach us here. In a world of fakes, some AI generated, how do we trust the information we see? We are living in a time where there is lots of trust in government, media, sources of authority, knowledge, as many are pointing out. You know? many are pointing out. Being skeptical in this environment is a form of imprisonment, you know. So this is a problem, you see. If we don't trust what we see, hear, what people tell us, you know, like if, like this Miami Mall incident, you get, you get people who claim to be first-hand witnesses and they tell you a story but people don't trust it they say oh you're just making it up for clicks for views um, and then to compound you know to make it worse there are actual people who are doing it for clicks who are doing it for views 
So how do you differentiate between the people who are being honest and the ones who are not? Uh, and and by creating this confusion, uh, the powers that be uh, make you become skeptical of everything. And if you become this very skeptical, cynical person, you you become trapped in this egoistic <laughs> cynicism, as I mentioned earlier. Um, being skeptical in this environment is a form of imprisonment. You need knowledge, truth to live a fulfilling life. This is where faith comes in, sincerity of belief. If you did not believe something to be true and constantly question yourself and everything, how can one live like this? You feel powerless. Um, uh, you know, like that's a way of keeping you down. So this is why in this environment where we don't trust the government, we don't trust the media, people should have. This is why people in this I believe. Uh, uh, this is why people should be humble and try to seek knowledge. When I see people acting so skeptical and incredulous, no, we need more humility. Truth is precious in this age of deception. I think it's going to take a few years, perhaps a decade or more, before we can arrive arrive at something approximating the truth but reality and our place in it what we need now is humility not arrogance okay um i think this is a process we're going through i think uh, people are going to <laughs> um i think maybe it's normal to you know react like oh i know what's going on you know but I think we really don't know what's going on. I think we've been lied to, profoundly lied to about everything. I also want to talk about different forms of knowledge, you know, prophetic visions, telepathic downloads, and types of knowledge given to us from the outside, piercing the veil. See Tesla. So Tesla, the the actual Tesla, he said that he was communicating with uh, beings from Mars and and David Adair, who's this rocket scientist, like said he, when he was like a child, he received equations in his dreams and he used that, he, those equations when he was like five or six. He later on, he understood what they meant and he made this fusion rocket. Uh, so you can find out more about David Adair if you want. Tesla said he communicated beings from Mars, so he's downloading information. You see, like, we should see our brain as as uh, antennas, you know, a different way of looking at a brain. The brains might actually be antennas, and consciousness is a way of communicating mental states. ETs can transfer knowledge to us through dreams and telepathy to influence technological advancement like through these prophetic visions or dreams, maybe in the Bible and the prophetic visions communicating truths or remote viewing or something. They may also try to influence societal development. What does this make us? Don't we have any free will or choice? Are we always subject to such external influences like puppets on a string? Well, that's sort of like my uh, protest. <laughs> Example of a garment lying, did we land on the moon? See testimony in 2022 from someone who claimed his father knew of the lie. Oh, there was another moon landing. I think, I think there is a conspiracy in the landing. I think it's possible that we never landed on the moon. I think there's evidence that, well, I haven't done a lot of research into this, but let's assume that they, they, the CIA actually did... Uh, film a fake moon landing maybe they did it in case the actual moon landing failed they wanted to back up or something because they were fighting with the russians and the soviets for 
you know, at that time, it was like a big deal. Um, so there could have been a, an actual moon landing and a fake uh, recording. It could also be that the aliens on the moon didn't want us to go to the moon, and the, uh, the CIA worked with the aliens uh, uh, to stage this fake moon landing. This, they, this is why, you know, apparently there was some kind of a receiver or... or if the if there was a landing on the moon, uh, apparently in Australia, those dishes would have picked up signals from the moon, and it could well be the case that the aliens uh, put the lander there anyway. But it's just something, an example of what we may need to question. Um, good video about UFOs and consciousness and knit telepathic development. This is a very good video. It's pretty long, but I think you should be able to watch it. it talks about like how. A human beings, our sixth sense is like this telepathic ability, and the government doesn't want us to develop this sixth sense because if or this remote viewing capability, because then it will, if normal people found out that they could do remote viewing, and I think anyone can do it, and started taking it seriously, uh, state secrets would not be able to be maintained because people could remote view locations and documents so this is a lot of the info my uh, links are found about the miami aliens i think something happened here there's a cover-up uh going on yes there are people who are doing it for clicks and there's a lot of cynicism and skepticism but there's also actual eyewitness testimony and there are some videos showing the actual figures the shadow beings i don't know if this is uh, it could be the case that this is part of disclosure where uh, they're trying to acclimatize us to it uh, but i do have a question I'm like i'm is this actually a is the cover-up good for humanity or is the cover-up bad for humanity is there a sinister aspect to the cover-up or is it part of the unfolding disclosure process one of the people who did the uh, anyway look at the there's a tm there is a tmz ufo documentary and that's going to go from the 9th to the 11th 9th 10th and 11th of january 2024 it's going on now they're releasing these documentary in three parts on the 12th of january there's this I see Inst Intelligence Community Inspector General hearing with Congress members. I think, and I heard somewhere, like one of the witnesses said he's going to provide, he's going to talk about his experience on the 12th. Did the Miami police uh, tell these people, tell him maybe not to talk about it until the 12th? Is this, are they going to reveal? to the uh, Congress at the, inter at the ICIG meeting on January the 12th about, the, are they going to say, yes, we have, we are not alone. Are they going to make some kind of an official th thing like that? I don't know. So this is an example of directed energy weapon. Uh, this is a thing. <laughs> I've heard many people talk about this. Um, uh, anyway, just an example. I just wanted to say that the links, these may, may, bro may be broken. I've heard people saying that their videos are being taken down, so I haven't checked it. You know, so if links are broken, they're broken, so I'm just letting people know that. Uh, yes, we're living in an age where uh, it's difficult to obtain the truth. Uh, but I think it's important for us to not become too cynical uh, because if we're too cynical, we're easy to manipulate and control, you know? So how do you find that balance? How do you keep... In, uh, how do you uh, sincerely believe, <laughs> have faith that what you believe is true while at the same time keeping an open mind, open to criticism you know like i said i don't know if faith is the right word 
because I've I use I've heard it said that faith is based on like evidence. It's like you don't have faith in anything without evidence. Faith is like a very sincere belief. It's based on a lot of confidence that your belief is true because there is an overwhelming amount of evidence to support it. So you can think of as faith as a very sincere belief because you really believe it's true. And when you believe something is true, that it's really true, you're going to be motivated to act. So, and that makes you, you know, it gives you, it is empowering to have faith because it makes you a person who can act in the world. But if you don't have a lot of confidence in your belief, you become disempowered and maybe the bad guys want you to be disempowered. They want you to question everything and, and be like stuck. So, yeah, faith is sincerity of belief founded on an overwhelming evidence, confidence in the credibility of your sources. Um, and, you know, some people think, you know, the Bible is true. You know, I used to, you know, uh, come across this idea that uh, when people say Jesus is uh, true or whatever, it's based on their belief that there's a lot of evidence supporting that Jesus existed and he did what, what he did. So, so the idea of faith, the way I want to, what I'm trying to communicate here is this idea that if you have a lot of confidence in your beliefs, you become empowered to act on those beliefs. And this makes you, uh, you know, able to change the world. But if you do not have a lot of confidence in your belief, if you do not sincerely, truly believe it, if you do not have, let's say, faith in your belief, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a really... If you do not have that very high confidence, like I truly believe it, I've, uh, I'm always hesitant to use the word faith because all these people interpret that as religious and dogma or something. But if you really believe in something, you're going to act on it. That makes you an empowering person and you can be a threat to the system because the system wants complacency. The system wants people who are going to follow orders. But we live in a world where it's difficult to discern truth from lie, you know? So we need a lot of humility, I think. Uh, it's it's going to be a difficult period uh, the next few years to who knows how long. We're going to have a lot of our fundamental beliefs about reality challenged. And I think it's, I think it's important for us to reevaluate everything we think about the universe. What is reality? Are we living in a simulation? We need to think about all of our understanding of history, like what happened in the World War II, what happened in the past. I think there's a lot hidden from us. All right.